Hurricane Barrel expected to be a major hurricane as it rolls through the Windward Islands on Monday and could be a problem for other areas of the Caribbean as well. Your forecast across the Caribbean and the Bahamas starts right now. This is Meteo Mundo. Hi friends, Rusty back here at Media Mundo. Good to see you. I've got the latest for you on Hurricane Barrel. We're going to get right into it here on this video. So thank you so much for liking it. Uh, this is going to be uh, encompassing the 11 p.m. Saturday advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Barrel only continues to get stronger. Winds are now up to 85 miles an hour and Barrel is forecast to become a major category three hurricane before moving through the Windward Islands late Sunday and then throughout the day on Monday. Again, winds currently are 85 miles an hour. Pressure's down to 986 millibars. Still pretty good rapid movement to the west at 20 miles an hour. Now, Barrel again looks very impressive on satellite imagery. We're starting to see the beginnings of an eye wall trying to form. May not happen during the overnight hours because of the diurnal cycling nature of storms as they get going. But as we go through Sunday, I think we're going to see a really classic storm develop here. So let's break down the time frame and then we're going to get into the latest on this uh, update from the Hurricane Center as of 11 p.m. So what you're looking at here as we get into tomorrow morning is barrel becoming a category two hurricane with winds of around 100 to 105 miles an hour. Traversing off towards the west northwest, it will then become a category three hurricane as we get into Sunday night. That is that plot right there at 8 p.m. on Sunday with winds of 120 miles an hour, then forecast to move into the Windward Islands overnight and then throughout the day on Monday. And now the Hurricane Center has winds of 130 miles an hour in association with Hurricane Barrel. This is going to be an extremely strong, extremely potent hurricane coming through the Windward Islands. And again, the forecast track from the Hurricane Center as of the 11 p.m. advisory has been nudged down just ever so slightly off towards the south. But obviously, when you're talking about clusters of islands that are very close to each other, that can make a difference. So just a subtle shift south, but it does put more of the heart of the Grenadines right in that center line, a little bit closer to Grenada. Barbados is still going to be severely impacted on this potential track, as is places like St. Lucia as well. Speaking of that, the latest hurricane warnings, and again, additional hurricane warnings are now up. They include Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada. Tropical storm warnings are gonna be for places like Martinique and Tobago off towards the south. And then we have a tropical storm watch that is currently in effect for Dominica. Now, these watches that we have could turn to warnings. Additional island areas could be added to this, but we really haven't seen much of a shift in the track. I mean, I know there's been a subtle nudge to the south, but uh, reading the discussion, they don't really expect there to be a big wobble in the track as uh, Barrel is going to continue to move through an environment that is very favorable for development. But again, not a lot of change is expected uh, as Barrel moves through the Windward Islands on Monday as far as track goes. Now, intensity again, Again, just continues to get stronger. This is going to be a devastating hurricane for portions of the Windward Islands. If you live in these areas, please take this extremely seriously. Please make sure that you're checking in with your local officials and please make sure you're making measures to save both property and life. Again, category three hurricane winds of maybe 130 miles an hour or potentially even higher. Now we follow this track of barrel from the hurricane center, which does drift it a little bit farther south than the last full 5 p.m. advisory. So you can still see that it's gonna be in the central sides of the Caribbean, a little bit farther south now is not expected to have as much interaction with Hispaniola, which will then keep it a stronger storm. So even here, as we get to the Hispaniola area, and that is going to be on Tuesday evening, it's still a major category three hurricane with winds there of 115 miles an hour, only losing a little bit of strength as it gets closer to our friends in Jamaica. And this plot point is going to be Wednesday night at 8 p.m. But obviously the weather, if this track holds true for Jamaica, will be going downhill earlier than that in the day on Wednesday. And and uh, with this southerly track, there's the potential that 
barrel holds on all the way into the Northwest Caribbean. Of course, this is the last plot out here on the five day track and we'll monitor the situation. But as of this point in time, the Hurricane Center still has barrel on Thursday evening of next week as a category one hurricane with 85 mile an hour winds with potential impacts to places like the Cayman Islands and then maybe even the Yucatan Peninsula and in Belize. So this is why barrel could be a storm that will impact a good portion of the Caribbean for the entire week to come. But obviously the focus, at least in the short term, is going to be on what's happening in the Windward Islands. Again, major, major hurricane coming in here with Barrel. Uh, the only thing that this has been doing is looking better. And the only thing that the Hurricane Center has been talking about is very rapid strengthening. And again, a Category 3 hurricane moving through these areas during the day on Monday. Let's take a look at the GFS model. We're going to look at a couple of different things here with that. I'm going to load up the reflectivity to begin with at first here. So that's going to come up and you'll notice that on the new run of the GFS, it continues to be a little bit more potent through the Caribbean. It also has that farther south track. Again, earlier, uh, we might have seen a little bit more interaction with Hispaniola, but not at this point in time with the new GFS. Now, again, a little bit closer to the time frame. You notice that the GFS model is right in line with the center line from the Hurricane Center. Again, timing of this is going to be starting to see some impacts in Barbados very late tomorrow night, very late on Sunday night. If you're watching this on, Mon on Sunday morning, very late tonight, and then as we get into our Monday, and you can see this moving in fairly quickly. Uh, the timing has slowed down a little bit, but we're still going to have a hurricane with forward speed of around 20 miles an hour. Notice that that center line on the GFS is right where the hurricane center is. That's 11 a.m. And then through St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada and St. Lucia in the early afternoon, and then continuing to be a very strong storm as it works its way off towards the west. Now beyond this, again, there'll be time to continue to monitor this situation, but at this point in time, the GFS is farther south, so we don't have the land interaction with Hispaniola and the drier air coming in from the mountainous terrain there. So the GFS does have it now as a stronger storm. And again, impacts to the southern sides of the Dominican Republic on Tuesday and then Jamaica as we get into our Wednesday. So our friends here need to start thinking about preparations and what you might want to do if hurricane watches and warnings are issued in your area, which could be coming the way here in the next day or two and then we see that storm continuing into the northwest side of the caribbean so quite honestly the uh, gfs model is very much right on the center line here from the hurricane center as far as this track goes and i'll let it run one more time in this extremely broad view but you can see that barrel could potentially be a very impactful hurricane for many of our area here throughout the caribbean and on the heels of that, again, we do have a secondary system. We're not going to talk much about it, at least as of now, but the potential that we could have a second named storm moving through some of the same areas. Latest GFS does run it up to the northern side of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico as a weakening storm. But again, we'll highlight that coming up as uh, we get a little bit closer in time with that. But we're going to focus on barrel for the most part on this particular uh, uh, video. Switch on over right now to the wind gust product. So you're looking at the gusts, and I wanna bring this up. We've talked about the sustained winds being in that 120, 125, maybe even 130 range. The gusts are going to be extremely significant. The wind associated with barrel is going to have impacts uh, that will be felt for a long time here uh, for the areas that it hits in the Windward Islands. So as barrel begins to come in, you can see it moving in right now, and the winds here, on the GFS model, again, are running well above 100 plus miles an hour. But honestly, they're a little bit lower than they probably are gonna end up being as this storm comes through. But the wind field is gonna be more significant from the center of barrel to areas to the north. That's why you have Dominica under the tropical storm watch, which may be a warning. And that's why we're gonna have really fresh winds, uh, you know, sustained in that 25 to 30 with some higher gusts all the way up towards Antigua and Barbuda and Anguilla. Areas to the south, Tobago is under that tropical storm warning. Uh, but again, even Trinidad is not, we're just not going to have as much wind on the south side of that center of circulation. Now, obviously we're gonna have easterlies coming along on the northern side that pushes a tremendous wall of water into that area as well. 
I can show you the HALFS model. This is the latest update from that. This is a snapshot at 7 a.m. on Monday. It shows winds with barrel gusting, not sustained, but gust to 150 miles an hour. So the strongest gusts here at 7 a.m. moving through the Windward Islands would be 150 miles an hour. Friends, again, you need to take this storm extremely, extremely seriously. These are the impacts expected from Barrel as of now. Sustained winds of at least 125 miles an hour. Again, a solid Category 3 hurricane, 111 is the beginning of the Cat 3 on the Saffir Simpson scale, so we're well above that. It's 201 kilometers an hour, sustained winds, gusts that could be approaching 150 miles an hour. Storm surge of five to seven feet, easterly swells coming along 10 to 14 feet. Barrel is moving fast, so the rainfall totals won't be crazy, but they'll be significant enough at three to six inches at 75 to 150 millimeters and power outages as well. Obviously flooding of low lying areas. It's going to be extremely important for our friends in the Windward Islands to heed precautions from your local government and your local officials. Make sure you're checking in with them for any information that you need to protect your family and your property. Friends, I appreciate you. Make sure you like this video. I appreciate the support here at Media Mundo. Subscribe, share this video with anyone that you think might need it. And again, I'll be running the 24 seven live stream here at Media Mundo. So in between these videos, you can get your updates here on our 24 seven live stream. Also, we're across all of social media. We're on Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. Send me a picture or video at my Media Mundo at gmail.com. Thinking of our friends in the Windward Islands, I've got you covered here, and I'll see you back soon with the latest on Hurricane Barrel right here at Media Mundo.